Okay, so I've been doing some off-camera work, and I'm going to show you what that is today. But overall, today it's time to get back into our save here in Berwick upon Tweed for City Bus Manager. Yes, hello boys, girls, and all of them to me. My name is Lucy Michaela, and welcome back to City Bus Manager. Now, in today's episode, we're going to be looking at a couple of things. Mainly, though, I do want to mention, I did kind of drop in the last Basingstoke episode that I might be dropping this series. Well, I think what we're going to do for now is keep this going until we've done all the map expansions, and then go from there. Because at the moment, I was just thinking, then, the two saves, they kind of show off, like, the two types of saves in City Bus Manager. So obviously this one, we're struggling to connect things because it's all a bit open. There's a lot of C as well, which is a good point. This does affect like your, you know, what you actually have, you know, what you can expand to. Um, but also um, then we have the Basingstoke save where we have like two key locations of the UK. Now I'm just researching one more solo e-bus. I actually clicked the wrong button. Let's not discuss that. But I will be then researching some solo buses as well. I don't know what this is. Uh, network coverage. I didn't know you actually had that on that screen. Um... But overall here, we're just trying to refuel all our buses. Um, I've got them all queued up for the refueling. I'm just going to quickly get some more staff in, actually. Work schedule. Um, is it... I don't know what people drive. I don't know what it is. Let's just get, like, all the mechanics in overnight. And um, we're actually going to hire some more mechanics as well. So hire employees, mechanics. Let's just hire a few more of these, because there are quite a lot of jobs that need doing at the moment. And we don't really have enough staff in. So we'll go for six staff. And we'll change the core hours from 5 a.m. to 9 p.m. Just to get a bit more work out of our staff. So hopefully these buses should start going off a refuel ready for tomorrow's shifts. So let me just quickly assign today's shifts. We are short on 60 to 70 passenger vehicles. That's fine. We can work on that. What we're going to do for now is fill these up with a couple of Evoras um, on this one. And today we have, what, four? Uh, where's the Evoras? Here. Let's see, we've got any spare vehicles here. Um, till 1.30 you can be in a roar. Again, not the size bus, the route. Oh, hang on, what's this? Oh, I've not put these in the right group, that's why. Uh, 60 to 70 passengers for the street lights. Very good. Assigned bus drivers, assigned buses. Assigned bus drivers, assigned buses. Oh, that's the same date. Boom. Perfect, there we go. So we definitely have enough buses. We do now have extra uh, Enviro 200 EVs. Um, I don't actually know where that happened. For, oh, tomorrow's Sunday, that's why. So we go to Monday. Not all shifts can be assigned to enough buses. 80 plus vehicle uh, passengers use the spares. So we will be looking at some new buses today. But I do want to research another solo bus. And I also want to look at some map expansion. Now I do believe we have one that we can do. Yeah, 360, which needs to make 70,000. So what we're going to do for today's episode, it's another loan. Not really the best idea, but look, we do need to expand this map. We need to get some content out of this safe. So I think we're going to go south because... We keep going north and this way, and there's not a lot there. Um, I've worked out Edinburgh's too far away, so we're going to head south this time and just see what we can get down there. Um, potentially some more content down there. Uh, and then we'll research another solo bus. That's just more coaches. We might do that later down the line. We'll also do another double-decker bus, because we haven't actually got many double-deckers. Um, I do believe we do have another E double-decker, electric one. Yeah, the 400 EV. I have just begun work on a repaint on that. I don't think I actually finished it yet, so that will probably come in a later episode. I need to change the fleet numbers on these to white. That's, it was white. So where did they show up on the front then? Did they show up on the front on these? Oh, up there. Okay, so if we make all these have white uh, fleet numbers, we'll be able to see them. I'll do that slowly but surely. I'm sure I'll forget half of them, but what matters is we've done it now. Right, okay, so we have our fleets going now, of course we have the 901, which is now using BZLs, and I don't know if I showed all of these off, but these are the um, Enviro 200s we've got, we've got the 263 plates, which are currently now based with, um, I think they're still with center bus those, YX60 DXR, which is 510 in the center bus fleet, currently based now with High Peak, YX62 DXF, I can't remember, I think that's another X center bus one, and then MX62 LWU, which of course is one of the X Wigan Enviro 200s. Um, so we have quite a fleet of Enviro 210 meters going now. So now we're just waiting to see what we unlock down this way. And we're going to look at some other route capacities. Now one thing I do want to address is a small issue. And that is that I made this 99A route. I think I did this off camera and I never actually explained it. It was going to be to work with the 99. But quite frankly, this route's just not making any numbers as you can see. So I think it's time to scrap the 99A. So, sorry 99A, but you're going. Delete route. Yes. And then we're going to edit the timetable on this one. 
Um, do that. And we're just going to have a look at the timetable on these. These are running every two hours. We're going to go drop these back down to every 60 minutes. And that's going to be kicking back into normal life very soon. I will put these in. Now, the 9 to 9 is also going to be extended today, which I think you remember we did discuss in the previous episode. So, I think that's what we're going to do next is... Well, we've, we've deleted the 9 to 9A, which I don't know where that went, to be honest. Oh, yeah, down this road, of course, which probably is why I didn't make any... Oh, the custom denning element to Jordor. We're not going to use that, let's be honest. So, a little bit of a shame there, a bit of a waste. Um, we could research another one, but we won't, because we want some money to actually buy some of the new diesel ones. Now, the 97 is currently using Envira 200 EVs, or electric uh, 70 to 80 passengers. But, frankly, the 97, again... This is the problem with this save, is it's just impossible. So the 97 is just still not making any passengers. Like, we've done this extension, we've done all that, and it makes the odd passenger on a weekday, like in the peak hours, but like during the day, it is a waste. So potentially what we could do, if we go to the timetable on this, we could even... <laughs> never mind, I'll discuss it shortly. But we could make it like a peak-only route, potentially, or like a, a limited service route. So once this is done, I'll catch you back on the other side of it, and we'll probably discuss what we're actually going to do with that, because I do think there might be some ideas that I have for <laughs> Right. Okay, here we are. So, just having a look now. We could make this route be like a peak-only service, potentially. Um, or even, so like Monday to Friday, after peak hours, it could go to every two hours. We could even do like a timetable that reflects the numbers we're making. So, looking at the numbers on here, the 97 is busy between... So, let's go for a Thursday, for example. So, Thursday morning, uh, it was busy about 7 o'clock and 8 o'clock. Um, so, 7 till 8. Um, so, 7, let's say... Uh, 6 till 9, it could be an hourly service. And then it's very quiet throughout the day. Um, and then again in the evening, from about 6 o'clock, is that? 6 in the evening? Up until, in fact not even that, it's just the morning peak it's busy for some reason. Um, why is that only showing up now? That's weird. Oh, because we've gone back to that page, never mind. Um, but having a look at it, so we go to Wednesday for example. Um, it was busy, but then again, Wednesday, I think that was during the city's festival, so I don't even know if the route's actually even that popular. So, potentially, the 97 is going to be scrapped, um, again, but this time we will just get rid of it completely. Now, just having a look here, the 906 is definitely having a higher capacity at the moment. So, the 906 could potentially be going to a new vehicle type. As you can see here, um, it is, it's not really running capacity all the time, it's just this one bus, and I don't know why, but they're all going to here, which is weird. They're all coming to this lifeboat station. I don't know what's here that makes them so interested, but it may be because there's an interchange here for the 901, I don't know. Um, but yes, I have gone through, renamed all the stops. The 902 is running a capacity there as well. That is weird. What is going on here? There's like only certain... Oh, actually, no, actually now that I mention it, there is a few here. So is it because it's Friday, or is it just these routes are rammed? Well, for starters, I'm sure that the 101 has got the wrong vehicle there, so that's great. Um, that's fine. I think, if I go onto the shift schedule, the 101 should be using 80 plus passengers from the rest of the day. Let's go to our 80 plus passengers fleet, which is down this way. 102, 102. Did I not set the 101 up right? Great. Edit timetable. 80 plus, 80 plus, 80 plus. No, it should be running fine. Weird. Must have been... I did it wrong, and then I reassigned it, but I'd already done the shift schedule by mistake, so it might be that there's just a few wrong buses on that route, but it's fine. Um, but yeah, looking at the 97, I do think maybe that needs to be scrapped. So we'll extend the 99 first, and then we'll look at the 97. We could scrap that and then maybe reintroduce that number somewhere further up. But let's see what we unlocked to the south. We unlocked Fenwick, and that's pretty much it. God, there's not a lot in this safe. We've got Bosden down here, which we could run the bus to. We've got Duddo. But really, there is not a lot going on this safe. There is Donaldson Lo Donaldson's Lodge. Ah, there's a place here. That looks like a big place. Okay, this could be interesting. So we need to go south again. When's the next research for going south? Can we do it now? 450 trophies. Right, we have trophies to get. Reach 2,276 active weekly ticket holders. That takes ages on a save like this. Sell 27,000 tickets. We will be doing that. So we'll leave that to work its way. Let's expand the 99. So, routes 99. Let's edit the route. So what we want to do is basically encapsulate the um, 
the route that we introduced last time but then scrapped. So we're going to have to do this, because I've done this from Norum to Berwick, we're going to have to do it the other way. So we'll start this end and then work our way backwards afterwards. So let's go, we're in, that's Horncliffe. This is Norum, which is where the route terminates. The 93 there has a Decaron. I really don't know what happened there. Right, we'll ignore that. Um, so it currently terminates at Norum Cross. What if we scrap this stop and run this this way? We'll stop that way on the way back. This can be... We'll just name this Norm War Memorial. It's probably a, there's probably a road name there, but for now we'll just call it that. Maybe we'll give it another name later. And then we'll come around this way, just stopping there. And then we'll stop here for this school. Like that. So of course this is where the the 93 we tried. The, oh yeah, the 93 is going. So this is just running today and then it's I don't know why this one's still running, but after that one it will go. Um, okay, Lady Kirk and Norman Bridge. That isn't really worth serving, but Lady Kirk. Now I worked this out in real life. This road doesn't exist. It just goes straight through. So we will just go do we need to go through there then? Not really. No one really going to Horndean or anything either, that's the thing. What if we just go down this road here? So we'll stop on this corner for Jubilee Fountain. And we'll stop there on the way back. And then it's going to go sort of rather express. We will put a stop even though there will be nobody using these stops in the game. Um, just simply because in real life these would be stops. So this isn't for our sake, this is because this would be a stop in real life. Um, all these would be stops in real life. This would get the people. Jardine Field. We'll give that a name. Jardine Field Northbound. And then this will go through to Whitsum, where the bus will then terminate and meet with the 92. Eagle Hall. We'll just have that as a one, uh, two way stop for Eagle Hall. Again, these aren't like super important stops, but yeah. This here will just be a stop on the corner. We'll probably think of a name for that at some point. And then we'll come through here, stopping at this stop here. I think that's the one for the services to Whitsum. Yeah, Whitsum Kirk. And then Whitsum Kirk there. Or Whitsum Arc, sorry. And Whitsum Kirk. Now, I think we discussed this, but Kirk is apparently church in, uh, in Scottish. I didn't know that. I'm trying to look here. There isn't... And Gaelic, sorry. There isn't really much else we could do. We could potentially extend it all the way to Churnside, but I don't see much point in that, because then it will s reduce the need for the the 92, which we've just introduced last time. So, that will do that. And then, this is where it's going to get interesting, because we're going to have to make it come to there, but not terminate there. So, we'll have to delete that. We'll have to just run to a waypoint, and make that the terminus point. And then, coming back, we're going to have to... This is where it gets awkward, you see, because we have to put this stop in here, and then scrap that. And then work our way back this way. So it's a little bit different to usual. Bus stop there. I don't know if that would be worth it in the end, but that's fine. Eagle Hall. Jardine Field southbound. Lovely. And keep going. Bring this down to here. Fellow Hills. That should have been a two-way stop, really. We'll just do that. Should have been a two-way stop, that. And same for that one. Oh well, it's fine. Jubilee Fountain won't be. We'll have it stop on the opposite side of the road. Or opposite side of the crossroads, even. And then, again, on this school, we'll stop on this side. And what we'll do going this way, we'll come up further up this road. And then to Norham Cross, where the old route would then go. And then it'll continue on its route. So this is now the 99 from Whitsum to Berwick. Confirm that. And we'll just have a look at the timetable to make sure that it all lines up. So timetable preview. So it now leaves... Ah. Yes, we need to go to modified bus stops and we need to just take out. So, this is outbound. Why is outbound this way? Hang on. This feels weird. Very on Tweed Railway Station. Ah, it's the bottom bit you need to get rid of here. Norman War Memorial. Yeah, so the, ninth, the route goes to the, to, rail, to the railway station, right? Yeah. So that's outbound. Terminus point is the railway station. Not there. Still don't know why it does that. And that's running every 60 minutes. Modified bus stops. We'll have to change the brake on this as well. I just remember to do that. The only problem with this way of timetabling um, is the uh, 
adding bus routes, bus stops. Now I did say that I will, and I will do this. I'm going to be doing a timetable um, tutorial at a later date, right? So this is going to be a ten, ten minute wait now at the end on breaks there, sixty minutes. Don't know why I did that that way. This gets at fifty two, so the break on this end will be five minutes at the station, just so that there should be two buses a day on the route. Brilliant. So now if I just copy the outbound, paste it in. Oh, actually, I'll tell you what, before we do that, let's just have a look at where we're waiting for timing points. Let's reset the timing points. So, from Whitsum Kirk, we're going to wait at... Um, yeah, we'll just wait first time at Norham Cross, because obviously that is a key point. We're then going to wait at Horncliffe. I don't remember what the stop was. Was it the Old Church or the Crescent? I think it was the Crescent. We'll make it the Crescent now. And then coming through here, East Ord, Berwick Garden Centre, wait there till 40. And then, yeah, so then it'll be a five-minute wait, and then... No, confirm that, copy that, and paste that to all our outbounds. And just change the destinations. Very good, outbound again, paste, destination. Very good. Right, and now the inbound, which you have to do the same thing, so reset the timing points, coming back. Um, obviously, we want to go to the garden centre till 15. Probably not the best thing to have such a short wait there for coming out of Berwick, but it's okay, we'll make it up in Horncliffe where we'll wait for uh, we'll wait for five minutes in Horncliffe just to be a bit different and then the War Memorial till 40 which means you get back at 52 so then another five minute wait at the end there we go copy that paste that and paste that and it's a 90 minute wait on Sunday so we'll wait for 25 minutes on break there and 25 minutes on break there just to make up for that you know, 90, so that'll be, yes, yeah, 78, so it'll have just 12 minutes then between runs, which has for padding. Very good. Right, confirm that. That route will now run to Whitsum, and we shouldn't need any more buses on that, which is great. So if I go to tomorrow's shift schedule, so tomorrow, assign bus drivers, assign buses, there we go. That's Sunday, mind. Uh, Friday, Saturday, sorry, and this is Sunday. But Monday, we shouldn't need any more buses. We need one more 80 plus for the 101, but that's fine. We can, oh, that's because that's on electric for some reason. There we go. Uh, brilliant. Now, um, let's have a look at what routes we can work on. So the 97, sorry, is next, is next. We need to have a look at if we still need that. The 97, is it done any passengers while we've been not looking? Ooh, actually, hang on. It is getting passengers now. Interesting. Suddenly, it wants it, people want to use it. Hmm. Where is one? Can we watch a 97? Where does it go to? Where's Paxton House? Uh, up here somewhere, isn't it? Paxton House is here. Let's wait for the next one to come in and we'll watch it. Here it is. Let's watch this 97. Just have a look at the passenger numbers on it. So it straight away, only two to start with. Not the most impressive. It's probably busier through the city, through the centre point, right? That's using the wrong stop there. We'll sort that in a minute. Um, or we'll just leave it and ignore that we've just seen that. Let's have a look. So it's not really making any passengers here or here. Okay. No, it's really not making any passengers, is it? Why is it suddenly? Why was it busy for like one run? Was it coming back, maybe? Because thinking about it, this route isn't point. Hasn't got much of a point to it, really. It just goes all over the shop. But then, what is it on the way back? With anybody on the way back? Oh, what do you want? Need a break? That's fine. Let's have a look, see if this makes any passengers on the way back. Again, I don't think this route is actually worth it, to be honest. Mm -hmm. We can use these buses elsewhere, it's fine. No, there's no real use of this route. Right. 97, we've tried to save you. We, we changed the route. If we go to here, this was like the very early days. We tried to save it, we redid it, but you're not working. So, uh, go on to here, routes 97, delete route. Yes. So today is the last day of that 97. We'll then potentially bring back a 97 to the north here. However, this is the bottom part, which is the 100 series. And I'm just having a look here. We do have um, Bosden down here and stuff. So maybe potentially we could have a route out of Huggerston Castle and down this way. And just serving these local areas um, along this way um, to, well, by the looks of it, it's going to go as far as here, Dudo. Unless it can go down this way. No, it could go up. Oh, I know, we could do down this way, through these areas, across here, 
and then into Haggerston Castle, and it can run from Norham, and that could be the 104. Okay, let's do that. Probably won't be a super popular route, but that'll be our next route that we're going to do. Is there any stuff we could utilise here? Not really. No. Okay. Own bus route, 104. I'm not copied into colour, but it's fine. We'll get that at the end. I know I stopped leaving it till the end, but it's fine. Now, where do we want to go here? There's a stop here. Oh, and then there's this here, Fenwick. We could get that in, actually. Because there's a stop here for Beale Filling Station. Yeah, we'll do that. And then we'll go around through to Fenwick. Fenwick or Fenwick? How would you pronounce that? I'd say Fenwick, but it might be Fenwick. This is the UK, after all. Um, and we are in England now, so... Right, and then we'll go up this way. Hmm, what we got? That's just going back onto that main road, so... Here is Kylo House. We'll go to there. So Nicholas Church House in West Kylo. We'll name these at a later date. Kylo Cottage, that'll be a two-way stop, I think, just because of the location. Should do that really for this one back here. Kylo House should be a two-way stop as well, I think. There we go. Right. Uh, Heather Cottage, which... Is that the road we want to go? Probably. Yeah, we'll do that road. Again, I don't know if these roads are any realistic. Look, we're going to have to scrap that realism in terms of where you can go. Um, I mean, because I don't know the area and it just takes too much... It, the video is not as interesting when I keep jumping off to Google Maps. We'll stop on this corner here, just so we're not blocking the junction with a bus stop. Uh, Low Lowick Mill, that's a nice place name, isn't it? Okay, and then we're coming through here. We don't really want to stop on this road. We'll just go through it. Probably wouldn't be able to, because I can imagine this is one of those tight roads, just looking at the uh, location of it. Definitely a very tight road, that. So, Bosden, we're going to stop on this end and this end. Again, none of these roads have names. It's going to be really difficult to name these bus stops, but we will think of a name. What I might do is have these be stop letters instead. Or I'll just look on Google Maps when I'm numbering them, uh, naming them for like house numbers. I might stop in there uh, and hope that that's realistic. If that road doesn't exist, I'll change to stop when I name them. Right, and then we're going to head towards Dudo, 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 and then round and up to Norham. So this is definitely an interesting route. So coming through here, we wouldn't really serve that. We'll stop on this, whatever it is. Um, and then what we got? Dado's there. Really, we need to go sort of down this way, then. Hang on. No, we'll scrap that. We'll go down this way. We'll stop there, anyway, just because it feels like a really long gap between stops. Here's Gaverick, which we can stop there for. That Does that encapsulate the whole thing? Yeah. And then, coming up this way, we have Green Law Walls. Good. And then here's Dado. So, one there. Ooh, that's weird. It's like a funny layout with one-way things. Let's stop on this bit. Well, then there's like a bus stop in between those two roads. Oh, another weird one-way thing. Put it there, then. What if we stop up here, just to allow it to be a timing point? Let's call this, um... We'll call it Duddo Terminus, in case we want to terminate a route there. Because that could be interesting. And we'll run, like, be both ways it will terminate, we'll pull into there. And now we need to head up towards Norm. There is a stop there, so that's a good sign, but that's coming down this way towards Donaldson's Lodge. So we'll go out this way and up to... That's where I've got to try and make it make sense now. Where are we? We're there. So, I guess round and up there. Yeah, we'll do that. Might not be super realistic, but it's okay. All Saints Church will stop there for it. There's a place here, though. Felkington. What if we go like this? We'll serve Felkington, just to get it in. Because this one route might work, instead of us having to have multiple routes on this area. I know it's a 100 route, but... 104, so it's not 100% direct. I like to have certain conventions to my route numbers, and usually the, the, the routes within the actual main series, so like the 100s, the 90s, the stuff like that, I kind of like them to be quite direct, but I don't think how, no, how possible that is. And again, here's a place, and there is a stop there. What if we just stop here to serve that area? Make it a two-way stop as well, actually. We can just stop right there. Again, this is the problem with Scotland and, like, this sort of Scottish borders type area is it's very difficult to... Let's go onto this main road, because then if we have another route coming down here, we can interchange. And then here we have there, Salutation Inn, which I think is these here. Stop there. Morris Hall Farm. This is where we're interchanging now with... I think there's actually nothing stopping here now, is there? Oh, the 99 does come down this way. Okay, so we're interchanging with the 99. And then this route, we're going to come round... St. Cuthbert's, no, round this way please, round St. Cuthbert's, and 
to Norm Cross. And then turn around. But via the War Memorial. And then down this way. So it's a slightly odd little ending point. But it means we get more in. All of these are two-way stops down here. And then we're going to go around the corner for Salutation in, Just because this way we're actually interchanging with the actual, the potential future route down this way, because we will have a future route uh, down this way, I'm almost certain of it, just because of looking at what's in that direction going south. Uh, so Felkington will have two stops, that and that. Probably not good to have stops opposite like that, but it's fine. All Saints Church will be a one, a two-way stop. And then here, like I said, oh, this is weird. Can we change that? Can we put that there? Will it? Yeah, there we go. Don't know why I had to do that, but there you go. All Saints Church, we're going to go around this way to Duddo to to Dutto Terminus, around that way, and to this stop here, which we'll have on this end this time. Green Law Walls. I should really rename these as I'm doing them, but it's fine. We'll do that later. Because we're not going to have a lot of timing points on this route, because it's not really going to too many key locations. Here, we'll have it stop on this road here. Just this way, it's... I like to do this because it means that the, the buses are sort of separated. There is an example of that on the uh, 38 between Maxwell and Crew where one of the stops is like on a little road on the inside, on the in, on an indent, and then the other's on the main road coming into crew. It's sort of just after, it's between Sandbach and crew that. I forget the actual name of the stop, but yeah. This will be a two-way stop. This will be a two-way stop. Ah, that's annoying. Where's Kylo Cottage stop? Oh, God, we got to work out which one it is. Which one's this? St. Nicholas Church House. Oh, that's good. So it's that stop. Delete that. Click on there. Can we try there? Nope. Can we try here? Yes. Okay, so you'll go there then. Don't do the same this way. It'd be so annoying. A lot of these are called bus stops, so it's very difficult <laughs> to read on my brain. But there you go. Uh, we'll have a stop outside it, going back, just to separate them out a bit. Kylo House there. Through Fennec, stop one and stop. No, let's have these go here and here. Okay, and now we're back on the main road. Uh, for Beal Filling Station, we'll stop on this side, going the other. No this way and finally Haggerston Castle okay 104 is going to be Haggerston Castle to Norm that's annoying can we put Norm X then just so we know it's Norm Cross yeah there you go confirm that we'll set the time table up and then I'll change the colour so wow well that was a waste of my time wasn't it <laughs> This is Sunday, Mike. Saturday. You know, Saturday. What if we just have, like, a two-hour service? Every two hours. How long is it? 86. That could be good, actually, because it takes 86 minutes to go all the way around. So, let's set this up. So, it's an hourly a two-hourly service between 7 and... S 8 and 6. There you go. It's one of those, like, little... In real life, you do get sort of stops like that. Uh, services like this, where it's, like, it goes... Between, like, little nowheres. And we'll have, like, generic midi buses running. Yeah, yeah, this is going to be fine. We're running Monday to Saturday only, so it won't run on Sundays. Okay. We'll be a bit more realistic with the routes. Because it's it's hard to change my brain from Berwick, uh, from Basingstoke to Berwick and back and vice versa. Because obviously, all oh, these destinations. I wish there was a way to clear them all. Can you? No, you can't. It'd be nice if we could clear all the destinations. So, to Norham Cross. I'm going to rename that stop to just Norham Cross as well. So, we'll stop at Dodo Terminus till 35. Like that. And that'll be it. That'll be the one timing point for the entire route, because it's 51. And it'll wait for five minutes at the end of the route. Uh, guaranteed. And it'll be Monday to Saturday outbound. Generic minibuses. New timetable. Monday to Saturday inbound. And there we go. Right, let's get these cleared off. And then I'll check the time that we've been recording. We should be just about ready to round up, in theory. If my maths... My rough maths is right. Alright, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Norm, cross, confirm. And going back, we need to change all these destinations because for some reason the game thinks that this route would have a million and one terminuses. Till 20 there, 50 coming back, 5 minute wait, perfect. There we go. And again, just like this, every two hours. So that means we should only need one bus a day doing this route, and it'll be a generic minibuses. And then, looking at the timetable, if it gets there at 8.51, it'll be the 9 o'clock. So 9 until... We'll say 9 till 9. If we say 9 till 8, actually, i make this... Oh, it'd be that, wouldn't it? Wait. 
8 till 8, 8 till 6, and then 9 till 7. Time till preview. So 8, 9 o'clock, from about 9.50. It would finish at 10 to 8, and then it would go back to the depot. This one will probably be very empty, this last bus, but it's fine. We may take it off if it's too empty. Do that. Uh, make sure the destinations are sorted. Confirm. Activate bus route now. No, wait. Uh, there. Take off the charging points. Activate bus route now. Quickly go into here. Copy the colour and paste that onto that route. Right, so we need one vehicle on that. We have a plenty we have plenty of solo SRs, so we'll just send one of those out on there and then going to tomorrow. There's actually two buses a day. But it might be just one bus that does beach. No, it is actually going to take two buses because that finishes at 15, 10, the morning shift and the evening shift. So it will take two buses, which is a little bit irritating, but such is the way of City Bus Manager. Okay, what are we up to recording time-wise? Perfect. We're at half an hour. That is... Wow, I, I didn't think I've ever, I didn't think ever termed a, timed a episode more perfect than that. Off camera, I'm going to look at where we can re-implement the 97, if we can. I'm thinking it might just be scrapped and we might renumber a couple of our routes. Um, potentially, or we'll just leave them. I'm thinking what we could do is the 95, 96 and 98 could be renumbered to lettered routes. And then maybe we could reutilize those numbers. Just renumber some routes. Um, but that's just an off-camera thing, really. It's nothing for you guys to watch. I'm just having a look here at what else there is around. There isn't a lot around, so we do need to look at this map expansion. So I'll grind some trophies off-camera. And uh, when I join you next time, we'll have a look at expanding the map further south again. But other than that, I've been Lucy Michaela. This has been another episode of Beric Pontweed in City Bus Manager. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye for now.